Okay, so let's get up close and personal for a second. I brought all my jewelry, my personal jewelry, some it's uh, collections that I've done in the past, some it's current collections, and some it's even prototypes. But in the morning, it really depends what I'm wearing, the mood I'm in, the weather, and it always starts with the watch. The story always starts with the watch. So this one is the Saint-Tropez. It's the two-tone colored one, which I love because two tones, you can mix and match anything, anything that you have that is yellow gold or silver. Um, I like to match uh, like the Forever Bangle, the Zen and the Celtic. I put like three bangles together. That's kind of fun. It's a bit of a statement piece, but why not? And then I like to add a light uh, hoop earring um, that is also two-tone, you can see. Um, always light earrings. I always try to design the lightest earring possible because you're wearing it all day. And then I'll throw on um, a little pendant. Um, why not? And that's it. I mean, you can have this whole look and put you know every accessory on, or you can just start with just earrings uh, or the necklace, you know, whatever, uh, whatever suits your mood. I mean, for example, uh, a long necklace, you can wear any earring. You could wear studs, hoops, or dangling. If it is a short necklace, that's where it gets a little bit confusing because then there is a lot going on. But there's really no rule. I mean, um, if I were to wear a necklace and an earring, let's say, for example, I go for a shorter um, ras du cou. It's called ras du cou. It uh, means at the bottom of your neck necklace. But this one is a toggle. Very pretty. Um, this one, I would put t like maybe tiny little um, uh, earrings such as...